all that which builds, strengthens, nurtures, ultimately leads towards the promised land. All that's correct, isn't it? And all that which depletes people's energy, drains you, misleads people, misguides people, is dishonest, destroys, well that stuff's all wrong, yeah? The problem is we live in a complicated world. People need money, of course. And we're lured in by entertainment. Which narratives that are in our sight, which ones correspond to that which takes away people's freedoms? restricts people's movement, teaches people that humans are essentially the problem, teaches people that there is no solution except further restricting people's freedoms, taking away people's rights, electing some AI technocracy as the solution. Is it possible that when we build, strengthen and nurture our personal power, that that is actually a positive thing? Why should we take away freedoms, restrict people's rights, if all that stuff obviously creates a situation where people don't have the ability to empower themselves? What's that going to lead to? It's going to lead to a lot of negative circumstances. I like it out here. I like it. One of my favorite hobbies is just walking and sitting out here in a secluded location where there's water, rocks, trees, wind, gives me space to think. This is important. It is important to foster an environment where the mind can be open to all possibilities and not just closed in on one particular narrative. mind is ultimately empty. And energy is ultimately absolute. Therefore, anyone who can be identified as anything in particular 
is not empty. They are not mindful. And any power source which is confined, restricted, limited is not absolute. It is not an absolute energy. <laughs>